Hey everybody, it's Lori Broccoloni, HappyNaturalHorse.com, Natural Equine Remedies. How are we doing today? It is a rainy day and I have time <laughs> to answer questions. So, I'm going to turn my screen around. This was on a thread. I have to do these videos as I go because, um, time. <laughs> so, in this one thread... I don't know where it was at. She asked, anyone have any suggestions to put on weight on an older horse fast? And we get um, beat pulp. And thank God this lady, um, she had a great, 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 great um, comeback. Beat pulp is extremely um, toxic to your horse. And um, so, and then this lady comes back um it always kept horses, um, her weight on her older horses. Well, yeah, <laughs> of course it's going to do that <laughs> because it takes four molecules of water to process one molecule of beet pulp. So you're going to have a lot of water weight on the horse and um, it's going to look fat because it's going to be bloated from trying to get rid of the beet pulp. It's trying to process it. Okay, and the only way to process it is to add more water into his system to flush out the beet pulp. Okay, so that's why your horse looks fatter. And so, of course, people do a lot of jokes here. And basically, a lot of people... Um, now, if you feed alfalfa with beet pulp, then it will be great because the alfalfa puts back the protein and the lost calcium from the beet pulp. So horses look pretty good on the alfalfa with the bee pulp because the alfalfa replaces it. Okay. So basically going through this thread, um, we got hemp oil, protein, corn oil. Oh my God, corn oil killed my horse, killed my horse. That's why I went into holistic therapies is because I was feeding my horse corn oil and he colicked and he died because horses cannot process corn oil. And, it, you know, this thread just clearly shows me that nobody really knows how to feed a horse. And and that's ridiculous because it's so easy to feed a horse, okay? Now, if she has an older horse, you have to remember that the back of the hind gut starts to slow down after the age of 26. And it takes the um, chewing process of uh, chewing, which aids in the digestion part of the horse. So as long as the horse is chewing, he's going to gain weight. Okay, so then they have silver lining has a digestive aid. Um, another lady with hemp oil, hemp protein powder. Um, ugh, ugh, ugh. Don't want to give oil at all to your horse. You're going to be tying up a lot of minerals and you're going to be tying up the vitamin K, vitamin D, and vitamin, um, I think, C. Um, it is, um, and your horse will bleed more. This one, she says her horse looks great. Okay, let's, if we can get it bigger. I don't know if we can get it bigger or not. I don't know, it's not going to go bigger. Um, I don't think her horse looks that great. Um, like she said, he's a hard keeper, healthy edge on Lifesaver. Um, that's what she says about this horse here. Oh, there. Okay, so, I mean, he's got a saddle on. He doesn't look too bad. That horse over here looks better, but he's 27, so. Um, alfalfa pellets and hay is what she gives that horse. And if you live in the West, yeah, that's going to work. So, never want to do it fast. Um, so, another aloe juice. Check for ulcers. That's a good point. Always check for ulcers. Always check for... DAC is, you know, another mineral supplement. Um, I don't... Really, I don't um, prefer that company because I have a lot of customers that use DAC and they switch to the Big Sky Minerals and they have a fantastic um, results with it. So, another company... I mean, there's just so many out there. And no wonder you guys get um, so confused you know, a lot of alfalfa. Now, alfalfa, for an older horse, it's, you know, you're going to tax their kidneys. Beet pulp's going to tax their kidneys. Olive, oh, any kind of oil is going to tax their kidneys. So, you know, you have to rule out a couple things. Does your horse have teeth? And I did this video on, is your horse ribby? What causes underweight in horses? And so this explains a lot of it. 
So, um, now she has, um, a pretty good, she likes Buckeye supplements. And that's another one that I gave my horse that died <laughs> at three years old. So, um, yeah, um, step senior feed with veggies, oil, vegetable oil. There that is. I mean, you're just, you are screwing up the horse's gut when you give oil. I'm, you have to trust me on this. Okay. You, it is absolutely horrible that you give your horse vegetable oil. I mean, he's not going to gain weight on that at all. So you can supplement with the Big Sky Oasis. And the reason why I say that, because what it does is it adds the good bugs to the um, lower digestive tract. So it puts the digestive organisms into the system and um, it actually will help with the digestion and um, it does have vegetable oil in it it's very little it's just enough to keep the um the dust down it's probably like 10 pounds to a ton um so i wouldn't worry about that it's not enough to um hurt the horse and plus everything else that's in here the, this will help with the um getting rid of the um vegetable oil so it's just to keep the dust down it's not like in like you know it's not it's just enough to keep the dust down so um it's I, and you only need one bag of this basically and um and then i would do the high track i would definitely do the high track the high track is a um ph balancer and what that does is um it just balances the ph of the gut so the horse can gain weight. So um, it is great. I feed it daily. Um, it has soy oil extract, but it doesn't have a whole lot in it. Um, I believe it has peroxide in it. But it is amazing how it works. Um, it stops a colic and a heartbeat. So, um, and then of course you want to give the Big Sky Minerals. And then balance out the whole horse. Um, you just want to give that um, the big sky minerals. That stuff, this stuff here is amazing. The other thing you can give is the Ultra Plus, which we don't have on here. It's on my other um, page, happynaturalhorse.com. So, Ultra Plus is amazing if you want to gain weight on your horse. Um, this is like, I, you cannot ever, ever not um, go wrong with, um, you can never go wrong with Big Sky Minerals. So if you want to put weight on your horse, uh, especially an older horse, you have to rule out things that are going on with it. You know, does he have his teeth? Does he have an ulcer? Does he have um, health issues? Um, parasites, um, you know, you have to weigh in what could be going on with your horse first. I mean, I had a lady that she was on my program for years and she kept adding stuff to it. Um, and she brought in a horse and she's, oh, it's just not gaining weight. I kept saying, we, you know, we tested it and it needs its teeth done, needs its teeth done. And I said, it's not gaining weight because its teeth need to be done. So, um, I was going to shop and I don't know where it went. <laughs> um, the teeth needed to be done. So finally she had the person come out and oh my God, the teeth were horrible. And, um, and then she started gaining weight and she was on my supplements. So the Ultra Plus, this stuff is amazing. This will make, um, it's a liver cleanser, it's immune builder, and it's great for EPM. Any problems that you have, you get a quarter of it. You only need a quart for two weeks, and your horse should gain a lot of weight. So just feed, um, I feed the Stanley hay pellets from um, Stanley. You can get it at Tractor Supply. And um, I would do that. I would do that. I would do that. I would bring the Stanley hay pellets and here's a horse, you know, does he look underweight? Yep. And he was fed. You won't believe what this horse was fed. You would just not believe it. And this is two weeks later, 
two weeks later after being put on the big sky. We took her off complete gain. I think she had eight pounds of grain a day. She had beet pulp. She had corn oil. She had hay. She had everything. It was awful. Took her off, just put her on the Big Sky Minerals and Stanley Hay Pellets, and this is what she looked like two weeks later. Is that not incredible? So, um, all kinds of testimonials. Go to happynaturalhorse.com. Right there. And if you want to put weight on your horse, and again, I can see why everybody's confused. There's no more, that you know, it's so easy to feed a horse, but we don't have to to go through all this stuff <laughs> i mean it's just it's incredible that people have like oh my god like so many people this one says cheeseburgers <laughs> you know um you just have to check your horse and see what it needs so um whole oats are great for a horse um silver lining herbs they're pretty good but, um, you know, you want to keep your costs down, too. So, hope this helps and um, gives you some answers. Um, just keep it simple. Try the program. Try my program for three months. If you don't like it, okay. You know, no big deal. Not going to hurt your horse, that's for sure. It'll probably make your horse better. But commercial feeds have a lot of stuff in it. So, um, it's really hard for horses to eat it. I mean, they eat it because they're hungry, and that's what you put in front of them, and then they adapt to it. But later on down the line, they have issues. So, happynaturalhorse.com. Subscribe. Share this video with somebody that you think could help. And um, have a great day. Bye.